Two struggling teams with frustrated players. Brent, when you were playing, did you have any kind of trick for kind of getting out of that malaise, that trunk? Sometimes for individuals, you have things that you've gone to in the past, whether it was through your high school career or your collegiate career. The interesting thing about a team dynamic, Kevin, is how do you do it collectively? And so the best way is to try to find something that you can do to step away from the game. Get your mind onto something else. Try to normalize an experience throughout the year. Like what? I mean, give me an example. Well, maybe something where your, your team goes out to go see a movie together or on the road. You, you, you go somewhere to a museum. or you, I know it sounds silly, but any time that you have that kind of away experience and you come back in, the perspective on the next game changes maybe just enough for you guys to recover. Here's Hachimura. And he misses his first shot. Here's Harris. Rebound, Washington. Now, Wall. And it's Looney with the rebound. Murray outside. From deep. That shot off. And the Wizards now going the other way. And it's blocked. And so it looks like Washington will retain possession here. Here's Hachimura. And a reliable score for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. That's 0 for 4 now. Time to slow it down and maybe get the best possible shot the next time down. There he goes! You don't want to be jumping on the play like that. No. Wow, he was up there, Kevin. <laughs> My goodness, that was absolutely filthy. Oh, nasty. This building is stunned. He dug deep, Greg. Into his bag of tricks there. Back to Beal. From deep. Wall. Boosh with the rebound. Murray with it. Looking at the numbers, he's averaging about 20 and a half points a game. Good on the three-point shot. Well, if Murray can do that and become a threat from the three-point line, look out. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Pass to Hachimura. 
Six to shoot. And Wall. Here we go now. And that one is good. Oh, nice feed from Wall, paving the way for that bucket. That's always his first thought. Find the best shot possible on every trip, whether he has to take it himself or create for a teammate. Murray outside. That shot, no good. And the Wizards now going the other way. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. Ooh, he put a little extra on that one. He does. He doesn't usually finish soft either. Obviously, he can when necessary, but not that time. I like that from Murray right there. When he's passing it like this, it can make him so much better and so much more open. And here's Wall. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Murray. Wizards making a switch here. To the paint. Here's Wagner. Another shot. And he lays it up and in. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Murray outside. Off target from three-point range. Now one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Straight rim rocker. It looked like a great for a second, like he might rip the cylinder loose. <laughs> and he makes good on the layup. Murray's got five. Murray, not much fear there as he gets amongst the trees, looking in control down low. Now, here's Wall. He isn't playing a big part of their offensive scheme, averaging around 15 and a half points a game. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. He has seven. Not too much respect shown to him by the defenders. Here's Clark. Got it. Good job in the low post. All the way to the bucket. No resistance. Just swipe the candy from him. Outside, Wall. Pass to Brown. Hangs in the air. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Wide open look here for Murray. Sinks the triple. Murray's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for New York. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. The first one falls. And so he hits both. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for New York. They trail by one. to Harris over wall tries again Looney with the bucket they've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start here's Hachimura nothing yet on the scoreboard for him Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. What a quarter right here. Establishing some confidence. Four of five. Shooting the ball. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. 
Brent, the league's been trying to clean up some of the physicality that we see, uh, some of the jawing, but uh, there are some players that do a great job of nonetheless getting under an opponent's skin. I don't think, Kevin, over the past couple of years, we would deem the NBA as being more physical than at any other time. Would we say that? I think that's fair. We would, yes. ne we would never <laughs> say that. But there are still irritants in the game. And the reason why those guys do that is because that's their competitive advantage. And that's the way the league is always going to operate. There are going to be guys out there who are going to use either their intellect to get inside your head or do things on a physical level that are going to cause you to think about what it is you're doing on the floor. Exactly. And when you find those guys, they're really interesting players to watch. You're not going to replicate their shooting form, Kevin. <laughs> In terms of sometimes their approach, there are things that you might be able to learn from a Draymond Green or a Marcus There's Smart. There's no doubt. New York trailing. Murray outside. Off target from outside. Pass to Hachimura. Power down after the assist. Let him into the lane. And proving to be effective around the rim. Hachimura leaving no doubt about that one. Over to the left wing. Now Barrett. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. You know, altered shots don't show up on the official stat sheet, but as we saw there, he does a great job of doing that as well as collecting the rebound. That's their third straight make off an assist. The Wizards have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And in terms of team members, uh, the free throw percentage is right at 74. Murray right side. It's the three-point bomb. Murray's got 11 points. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Pass to Anthony. Back to Beal. Outside Anthony. And it's Beal in the corner. Five on the clock. Here's Hachimura. Off on the layup. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. Mix with the rebound. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Shoots the three. Traps in the tray. It's all knotted up. So that's just sweet passing there for Murray, keeping his eyes open and finding the open man. Pass to Wagner. Here's Hachimura. Over House. And the shot falls short this time. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. They get it back. Now Barrett. Deep two from Murray. And again, it's New York. And Murray's the kind of shooter that you appreciate in the flow of the game, but when he gets in this kind of rhythm, look out. Outside, Beal. And they get it. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. New York calls timeout. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. Substitutions. And the Knicks with possession here. They trail by one. 
Jones looking for an opening. Here's Harris. Hits some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. Now this is a, a strength of Tobias Harris, finding good rhythm now in the mid-range shot. Left side wall. Here's Beal. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Now the Knicks take it the other way. Outside, Jones. Has to Vonley. Out to the wing. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And it's a three-point New York lead. Still working on this postgame. Vonley using that giant 7-3 wingspan to full advantage. Beal with it. Bryant in the post. Over Vonley. Bryant can't get it to go. Now the Knicks with it. They're on a 12-3 run. And the layup is good. Oh, great ball movement there. 30. 110 left in the first quarter. Outside wall. To the inside. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Harris. No question, he got bumped on that shot. For Washington, they have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. He's good on the second. Here's Barrett. No points in the game yet for him. Pass to House. There's the three. It's hauled in by Brown. Wizards trail by four. Tries from the block. Here's Wall. He's just scored his first basket with that shot, making him one for four. Yeah, I feel for him right now, guys. He's much better than this one for four start. He just needs to relax a little bit out there and let that game come around to him. Back to Jones. Pass to House. From outside the arc. And that comes off the assist by Jones. And the Knicks leap by five. Deal with it. Scoring wise, he's definitely making his mark right now. He's averaging about 19 points a game. Here's Barrett. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. What a performance. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And what stands out to you from New York in this one? Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. They just couldn't seem to know what it was that they needed to do and how to stick them from outside. The defense pretty lost. Pass the wall. Bonley with the rebound. Well, that's how to protect the rim without fouling. Force him into an awkward release and a bit of an adjustment on the layup. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. That's foul number two for him. It's his second foul, but not the end of the world. One more before halftime, though. That would change some things. Pass to Clark. Four on the clock. Outside, House. Washington with the rebound. He hits Brown with the drive. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. New York leading by three. To the right side. Clark for three. Drills the three-pointer. Clark's got seven points in the game. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooter. It's Brown on the win. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. 
Here's House. Misses off the right iron. Wizards trail by six. To the wing on the left. Brown inside. Pass to Bryant. Outside, Jones. New York moving the ball around. Here's House. And that comes off the assist by Jones. House has got the lead up to eight now for the Knicks. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye open. Here's Wall. Got a hand on it. Well, you notice the length there from Bonley allowing him to get that shot block. Clock is at three. Here's Brown. The 19-footer is on the money. Brown's got his third basket of the night. I just don't think they want him taking that kind of shot. Again, his teammates are just laughing, shaking their heads there on the bench. Pass to Clark. Puts up a three. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. Well, that's a shot he can hit. If you give it to him, you need a little more energy on defense that next trip down. There's Brown with the three. <laughs> New York leading by nine. And here's Jones. He's still scoreless so far in this one. In the corner, Barrett with it. And again, New York with the triple. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. So timeout called here. The first for Washington. look back on all the stars you've played against during your career, who was the biggest intimidator? Well, I, I think about intimidating players, and the first word that comes to mind is Anthony Mason. I know he wasn't a, a bona fide star Superstar, player, but right. you know the role that he had yes, for the teams that he played with, and Anthony Mason was, was a player you did not want to uh, be playing against. During my era, most of the years that I had some successes and, and minutes on the floor, it was certainly Kevin Garnett. The way that KG approached every game, you spent many seasons watching him very closely. Mm -hmm. From year one to year 18 or 19, Kev KG came at you every game, every night, with the same kind of zest and excitement to compete. Well put. Back to Anthony. Pass to Hachimura. The fader. The shot, no good. And New York will come the other way. Now here is Harris. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that, Kevin. That's a bad miscue, and you can't give up looks like that all game long. You have to push Hachimura out of there if you're the defense. He's a real problem on the interior. Here's Clark. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And he knocks down the first one. Well, you know, the NBA, not the only league with great players and great play. Talk about some of the other prominent leagues around the world. There's some terrific competition. There's some great competition overseas in, in the Turkish leagues. Uh, some very good players that play in the Russian league. There are some great players who are coming out of Australia, and we're actually seeing players now skip playing in the G League to go down to Australia yes. to start their 
development and professional career. So the, when we talk about the world game, Kevin, we're not joking around. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a very real thing, and we continue to invite the best players that we can find, and they come from all over. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot, and for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. And showing some toughness on that take. Hachimura, these kinds of buckets can energize a team. Murray, good. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Without question, Jamal Murray displaying his skills today. And he is absolutely dialed in from out. Outside. They need to close out on him much quicker when he's lining up those threes. Anzo Bryant will bring it up for the Washington Wizards. It's a 13-point game. Pass to Hachimura. Nice ball movement by Washington. And here is Bryant. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. Bryant's got his second basket. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Murray for three. A shot. No good. And the Wizards now going the other way. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Man, wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys. Still shaking. New York calls timeout. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. The Knicks leading by nine. Let's it go with a three. Offensive rebound. Goes back up. And it's blocked. And they'll keep possession. In the corner, it's Harris. Drives it again. No good that time. And it's Washington the other way. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. And Anthony gets it to go. Anthony's got five points so far. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their pass. And the shot goes in. I love seeing Barrett cash in there. He knows he has what it takes to finish through contact. Down low. Here's Hachimura. Off with the layup. The Knicks with the lead. Barrett, no good. Back to Anthony. Score it. His third straight basket in three tries. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. For three, Murray. The long distance three is buried. Murray's got 19 points. And what a huge performance for him. I mean, he drained three three-pointers in that first quarter, and he's got two more here in the second. Shots good by Anthony. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. 
Here's Harris. Up and in on the layup. Harris has got his third bucket of the night. Now, not the biggest player out there, but Tobias Harris confident to get down low, use his frame, and score. Left side, Beal. And it's blocked. And now the Knicks on the break. From the arc. Harris's shot is good. Harris has got the lead up to 13 now for the Knicks. Three-pointers are killing them at this point. And they haven't been able to respond at the other end. Offensive rebound. Anthony. That's tipped. And he's able to get it back. They had a number of cracks at it, but came away empty-handed. The Knicks leading by 13. And Harris wide open. He shoots. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Harris has got seven now in this quarter. Pass to Hachimura. They need this. And off the glass. That one's good. He's got 15. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Here's Looney. Covered by Anthony. Deep two from Murray. Rebounded by the Wizards. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. Knows he missed an easy one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. And, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope, he, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Unloads from 13. Some solid defense from Brown. Oh, that mid-range, Jay, usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. The Wizards have shot 80% from the lines tonight, going 4 of 5 so far. First free throw is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? I mean, he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Pass to Clark. And it's Clark with the finish. Wow. And that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. The Knicks getting their third free throw shot of the game. And, and they've done some really nice work at the foul line, knocking down 80%. Well, his body control is phenomenal, and his ability to get to the line has always been impressive. That's a huge part of his game. Fires from deep. Washington gets a bat. And the shot goes down. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Harris outside. Misses the three. Wizards trail by 10 to the middle. Here's Wagner shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It goes on Noah Vonley. The Wizards have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. And the first one at the line is good. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. The Knicks leading by eight. Pass to Clark. And it's Clark with the jam. Now, how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Brown outside. 16 feet away. Bonley with the rebound. 
hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. And stolen by Barrett. And it's Clark in the corner. And it's Clark slamming it down. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. And so it's the... And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Wizards trailed by 14. Hey, yo, get on wall. Hey, From 12 feet out, here's Bryant. The kick out to Wall. Back to Brown. Lock at six. Over Barrett. Bryant trying to free himself up. Brown, good. Brown's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for the Wizards. Harris outside. Nailed from three-point land. Harris has got 14. Uh, working tirelessly on the stroke. Tobias Harris trying to find consistency with that shot. Left side wall. The Wizards have shot the ball well from the free throw line. Eight of nine. And that one falls for Wall. And Wall has said he wants to be in the MVP conversation. Move forward a terrific floor general with unreal athleticism. Second free throw, no good. New York leading by 14. Pass to Clark. making a change here. <laughs> Left side, Harris. That's it. He's 7 for 12 now in the game. Pretty much all of their buckets is coming from inside the paint now. Wall with the bounce pass. Out to the right wing. Second chance effort from past the arc. A three-pointer is right on target. He has six. With the prospect of making a big lead even bigger. Yeah, you got to jump at this chance. Stretch that lead out as much as possible. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. To the wing right side. New York moving it around. Just five on the clock. Here's Looney. Nice D from Bryant. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. You love the pressure he's putting on them. Almost had that steal. Yeah, pestering right now, and that's going to pay some dividends. At some point, there's going to be a turnover. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. For Washington, they have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. That free throw, no good. And he sinks the second. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Here's Murray. He's got 19. Here's Clark. 
Good work defensively by Bryant. Well, in the rebounding game, at least, it's been a strong physical performance for him. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for New York. And it's sent back by Bryant. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. New York leading by 10. Here's Clark. He's got 21. Takes the three. Rebound by the Wizards. And here we go. Washington fast break. No one near the wall as he lets it go. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. No good from Clark. Wizards trail by 10. Here's Hachimura. The shot from the low post is good. Hachimura's got eight points. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Hey, this is not the team that we saw in the first quarter right now. Way more confident out there, and the cohesion of the team is impressive. It's Beal on the wing. Plenty of space. Basket number eight is all good. He's attempted 12 shots. The Knicks leading by eight. Here's Clark. And he's currently averaging more than 26 points a game. Such a force. Inside. Here's Boucher. Second chance shot. Not going to go that time. And it's Washington the other way. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Wizards trail by eight. Anthony up on top. Pass to Hachimura. Outside, Beal. Over Clark. Again, the Wizards good for two. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Murray, good. Yeah, Murray there dialing one before that shot. Different area code. Now Anthony. Nine points in the game so far. Beal drives in. That shot missing. Now the Knicks take it the other way. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. That one from long range. And it's a 12-point New York lead. I mean, he is bringing his game, guys. Another jumper from distance. Here's Hachimura. Hits the difficult fadeaway jumper. Hachimura's got four points in the quarter. And a solid shooter from mid-range. Hachimura with textbook fundamental. Jamal Murray again. And the Knicks lead by 12. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Anthony on the wing. Back to Beal. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. The Wizards have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. He's off on the first. The Knicks making a switch here. So he comes up empty, missing both. They're not doing themselves any favors with their free throw shooting this half. Jones with it. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Down to five on the shot clock. New York needs to get off a shot. Off the mark from 16 feet out. 
That's one he knows he should have drained. And that one's good, Anthony. And the instincts there from Hachimura. Notice the overcommitment by the defense and then makes the right pass. Jones, no one around him. And it hung on the rim but wouldn't fall for him. Anthony down low. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. And say what you will about the value of the three-pointer, but those close-in looks are always plan A. Every trip down, get to the paint, get deep, score. There's Boucher. New York, no good that time either. Wizards trail by eight. Here's Beal. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Beal's got seven points. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. Pass to Boucher. To the paint. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. He's got seven. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around. Keep it moving. Try to get an assist on every bucket. Anthony. And it's Anthony with the jam. And your point guard's got to be the catalyst. Great job getting to the 10. Well, Greg, he knows when they need a lift. Did you see how much air he had under him? Wow. Pass to Jones. The shot will not fall. Now the Wizards take it the other way. The Wizards have had 15 tries at the line. They've made 10. That free throw missing. And although he started playing the game later in life, Hachimura has picked it up well. An exciting young player to watch. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for New York. Leading by five. to Clark. And it's Bradley Beal with the rebound. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. And the shot goes in. He's got 21. The adjustments they've made offensively, they're putting guys in a position now to succeed. The possession's just way more efficient, I think, here tonight, taking smarter, better shots, moving the ball around. That's helped them to get back in the ball game. Pass to Bryant. Here's Wall. From down in the low post, it goes. Wall's got eight and just the overall aggressiveness wall enjoys taking on a challenge and succeeding especially when the D is all over and it's sent back by Bryant it's Brown on the wing he's got 11 here's wall and off the left side of the rim and it swirls in for him he's got 10 and in the post, Wall's got a pretty well-developed game for a point guard. He can navigate his way through the big bodies with very few problems. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Back to Beal. Over Clark. Outside for Beal. Pass to Wall. There's 117 left for the third. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And the first one drops. So he hits one of two from the strike. The Knicks with the lead. And that's a foul called on Bradley Beal. That's foul number two for him. 
107 left in the third. Deep two for Murray. Bryant with the rebound. It's good. And the Wizards lead by one. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And it's Murray penetrating. And it's Murray with the jam. Well, if Murray gets his slashing game together like that, that's a good sign for his offense. Love how confident he is. seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to Wall. For Murray. Wall, that's good. Wall's got 10 points in just the second half. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. Now here's Beal. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on R.J. Barrett. The first free throw is good. The Knicks making a switch here. And both free throws good for Beal. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Murray for three. And it's out of bounds. The Wizards will take it the other way. That concludes the third quarter. It continues to be an We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. Knicks trail by three. And here's Jones. Here is House. Now, here's Barrett. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Brown. New York now working with the new shot clock. Here's Boucher. No good on the triple. Washington leading now by three. Brown wide open. He fires. And that one's good. Hachimura. And his coaches and teammates love that. They want Hachimura getting after it more on that offensive glass. And the layup falls. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. Outside wall. Drains it from beyond the arc. He's got 24. A good look there, and he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. Pass to Boucher. A three. And that comes off the assist by Jones. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Here's Hachimura. From the line, they get it back. Back to wall. Off target at the rim. And that's just great work there to get in the shooter space and then go and corral that back door. And those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ball game. And the foul called on Tyus Jones. That's his first foul.
Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. That one's not going to go. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have. Staying aggressive and playing under control. And he's been a force on the glass. It's almost like he's got a magnet on that ball here tonight. He's in the right spot all the time. Pass to House. Good on the triple. And it's a three-point Knicks lead. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Giving up a run here. Can, can they turn it around? Hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. deciding to change it up. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, during the break, I listened in on Scott Brooks's huddle. He's not happy with what he says are late rotations defensively against their three-point shooters. And at the offensive end, he wants his guys to get their own shots within the rhythm and flow of the offense. Kevin? For three, Murray. The Knicks rebound. Out to Harris. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. And the Knicks lead by five. And so it's Anthony bringing it up for the Wizards. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Very little resistance against that throwdown. Nope, not what they want to see in a game this close, Greg. On one side, inspiration. On the other, devastation. Down low. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. Execution with pace. That's a bad turnover that simply was telegraphed. And there's the call on Tobias Harris. That's his third foul of the game. The drive by Anthony. Pass to Wagner. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Wagner's got four this quarter. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. And again, New York turns it over. Looked like a simple play and turned into a turnover. Can't give away possessions like that. The Wizards with the lead. Shoots from the elbow. Beal can't get it to go. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Here's Harris. New York, no good that time either. Pass to Anthony. Now Brown. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Clearly a foul. That one is off. That one misses. New York trailing. Murray with it. 
pass to Clark. And he could not hit that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And that one falls for Clark. And so Clark nails both of them. So it's Washington now. And here is Beal. Over Harris. And he's finally able to knock one down. And the Wizards lead by one. I mean, could we say he was playing possum a bit there in the first half? Because he seems to be a different guy out there, way more assertive. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. with a tenacious will to score. Murray giving you that effort. To the left wing. Outside, Beal. That's the three fly. And again, Washington with the triple. Uh, and that was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both, but it gets close. He's getting the ball. And it's Anthony with the ball for Washington. The kick out to Brown. Over Harris. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Brown. Now the Knicks with it. Now, here's Barrett. Pass to Looney. And here comes the break. A finish. And Brown throws it down. And that's enormous, guys. With time winding down, goes for the steal and then off to the races. Brown the free throw. Now Murray. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Brown. And Wall. Here we go now. They get it again. Outside Beal. Here's Bryant to the inside. Second shot opportunity. And the layup is good. Well, that just scrambled the defense all kinds of ways with that great initial pass. Pass to Harris. Tries again. Looney with the bucket. And really, at this stage of the game, to get those kinds of offensive rebounds for putbacks, you almost feel like it's a four-point swing. Yeah, and you know who your Warriors are by plays like that. They make it when it matters most. Ring shot on the way. The Knicks pull it in. Pass to Murray. From deep three-point range. But his shooting this quarter has to be a huge concern, especially when they're behind like this. Can he find a rhythm? Outside, Beal. It's 
three pointers off the mark. Really excellent defense there. They know he's capable of knocking it down from the outside, and they could not have played him better. And here we go. The Wizards fast break. A second chance effort. Takes a three. And the three ball is good. Beal's got 14 points now in the second half. Not shy from outside. There, there's no doubt about that. Spreading the floor and hitting them up. Pass to Boucher. Murray surveying the D. For the three. Beal pulls it in. And they've had the advantage tonight on the glass. And that's another big one. Out to Harris. New York moving it around. Shoots. Here's Boucher. Nice D from Bryant. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Murray for three. Buries the long-range jumper. Murray's got five points now in the quarter. How about Murray stepping up? Poise for this young player. Washington calls timeout. Here's Wall. Takes it from 10. The Knicks pull it in. Nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area. That's a miss he's going to be disappointed with. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. Changing ends quickly. He's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down, but when he gets green like that, you got to look out. Clark for three. That miss puts him at 53% shooting tonight. Eight for 15. Here's Beal. And good. Coming off the assist by Wall. Beal's got the lead up to six now for Washington. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Go, 104 left in the game. Pass to Clark. Shot clock at six. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Coaching staff would like some more shots from that range. And that one falls for Clark. And with the and one, he's cut it to a one possession game. Just terrific determination on his part. Left side wall. Here's Hachimura. Goes back up. Yes! And a better box out saves him two points there. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Here's Murray. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Well, Murray's showing that he has the ability to draw the fouls. Just a beautiful anticipation play to get to the free throw line. And so Murray nails both of them. 
And now you're in a great position thanks to those clutch free throws. One possession game now. Guys, they're not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. Now's the time to burn some clock. Here's Beal. 13 feet away. A fundamental footwork and boxing out there that allowed him to rip that ball right off the rim. That is world class. Love seeing that there. A huge possession, and he nets it. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by two. And a tough break is his second attempt at the line. No good. Deep two from Murray. No good. And so it's Washington who straight by with the win. This win such a tremendous emotional boost for him. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish <laughs> to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Alton.